so any matches that we do not see on stream, everybody will be able to go back and watch later in the day when they are, or maybe not today, but whenever they are posted. Um, and you can always find out when things are happening at the Nebraska Twitter, or Nebraska Pokin Twitter. Yes. Uh, that is a great place to find information, especially on this tournament. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you guys updated on there. So, yeah. Um, I, 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 we don't have anything on there. Is there other, any other uh, random promotional things that I may be missing? Um, have you guys heard about corn? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so, the Texas crew brought everybody who has been participating. Oh, is the match popcorn. going? Oh, we have the match going. Oh, the match going? is going. Okay. Okay. We have a okay, small so, window currently. Um, up. If we could just get that to be a little bit bigger. One second. We're getting something set up. It looks like we have Nickel Pack currently with a lead in what I can only hope to be their first round. Um. I mean, he's got that corner pressure going on with standard set style things. Okay, yep, so, so now he's stuck in the corner. And there, oh, we are in. Okay, here we go. There we go, we can stuck. see some stuff. Alright, so. Alright. Alright, we're in. So, looks like Nick Pat is in a pretty, really, pretty, really strong lead right now. I can't talk. Um, <laughs> There's that put up some trash. So it's interesting to see her going, um, we have a episode for eight class. If you didn't know, she plays both characters. So I think as a way she's feeling a lot more comfortable with her Vile. So see how long she goes through. I do know that she has been playing Aegislash a lot since the release of the X, so I actually do agree here. It's an interesting thing to see her pull out the Vile game one against uh Nickel Cat. Yeah, so Ooh, okay, this is actually huge right now. This, oh, I was no. going to say, this could lead into oh, no. burst, but the burst uh, ran out. Oh man, here's like, unable to get that sort of finisher right there. Alright. That is going to be round one, going to Nickel Cat, another Michigan uh, traveler mm -hmm. and so, competitor. So tell us a little bit about Nickel Cat here. Uh, Nickel Cat is a solo septile main. He's been really working hard the past couple of months to really up his game. He went 2-2 at Nationals uh, in Ohio. That was his first bigger tournament for Pokémon that he has traveled to. That's a pretty big tournament to go to, so... He was really happy with how he did, and like I said, he's only been getting better. He's he's really stepped up his practice game uh, just the past couple of months, ever since Nationals, when he kind of realized, like, I'm actually okay at this game. So, getting back to the match here, it's interesting that I saw Paper Stack actually opting for a lap rip, and I was a little unused to seeing from her. Uh, she had her late been running off in here and like her flash and drag knife, but lap rip is a new one for me, so... It is an interesting choice to see in general. Not a lot of people use it. Uh, you see some of the younger group being Thanks Walla and, uh, and Bolimar yeah. using a mix of Lapras Snivy, but those are really the only two. Yeah, so as you can see, we go, oh man, I don't know if we get the grab right there. Oh, this is the punish. And go straight to the burst, okay. That is a very respectful burst option. Weavile burst attack not having a whole lot of scaling, and so it still gets a lot of damage, and on top of that, we get the added bonus of it. Eats away synergy. Yeah, he's gonna have a little bit of hard time now getting that. Nickel Cat had that build oh, up. And now he has to get it again. It's just one more slight disadvantage in the last time. With the Lapras Paul. Set out able to work around out with his jumping and hanging right there. It's like a really nice impatient. And I do here. Oh, okay, goes for the next up. Nickel Cat going in with the grab, and now he does have the burst Ooh, with the health lead and only four seconds left. This is not looking good for Paper Sack right now. This is probably the worst case scenario oh, for yeah. Paper Sack. Mm, she just cannot get anything going right there. That looks like a game one going to Nickel Cat. So I'm going to be interested if she actually opts to go for Age Slash this time around. Because um, she has a tendency to switch off and, off, uh, off and on with the characters. So if we get a, uh, a changed Pokemon, I'm pretty sure we might be seeing an Age Slash or a more comfortable support. Alright, so we are getting a change. Okay. So, so is Nick Cat pretty um, top down at sports? Do they usually only pick like Snivy or something like that? We see a lot of Snivy from him. Okay. Um, he does take a few other supports, but it's really just a lot of Snivy use. Mm -hmm. He, he kind of sticks with it. Mm -hmm. It works well for him. Gotcha. And, and I can understand, I used to kind of pick only specific supports for myself and just kind of use those in whatever matchup. Um, so I think that's kind of how Nickel Cat plays with his supports gotcha. for the most part. So we got a character change from Parasite. She did go for the A-Slash as I predicted. Okay, so 
I don't know much about this matchup actually. Um, of course, Aatrox being a very dominant character for quite a while, um, even after the change we got in some more recent patches. So let's see if uh, Aatrox can use this character's advantage. I think one thing that Aegislash and Rubile had in common, which probably helped with the transition into the character, is they both have really solid corner pressure. Yeah, Aegislash yeah. has just really safe things and, and just hard mix-ups that people don't expect. Here's that doing a good job getting out of that corner right there, getting, some, getting pressure into the with that. Now this could be a, a crucial change for Paper Sack as Nickel Cat is not heavily used to being pressured so hard in the corner. Oh, okay. Um, I would say that this is a very momentum-based matchup where whoever gets put in the corner first is going to be struggling to get out. Yeah, I can see that definitely. Now, an interesting thing to note is that uh, Paper Sack can jump with very defensive big slash. So, ooh, that's plus. Oh my god, is that going to be it? I believe this is going to be, be it. He's going to be able to confirm right here and... Okay, okay. He is going to end it with the Leaf Storm. All right, all right. So, with a nice big con there for Nipper Cat, Paper Sack's going to have a lot of momentum to try and make up right here. Now, one thing that is very important to notice is that that round did not go as cleanly for Nickel Cat as no, the ones in game one. It definitely didn't, but I think what happened there was that Paper Sack, she's way, really confident in her defensive Aegis Sack, but she likes to use a lot of her shield form and not get right in the face. I think that's kind of working against it right now, because like you said, Nickel Cat might not be able to get the pressure, but the standard defensive Aegis Sack might be a little bit harder for her to walk. It is going to be, especially against Sceptile, it is going to be a difficult time to play so defensively. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now, I see Paper Sack now being willing to take a few more risks. Oh my god. Oh, that Leaf Blade is so big, though. He gets a hard knockdown, gets a Shadow Sneak with uh, Oki. Oh, this could be a huge combo right here. Uh, we'll go for a Sceptile instead. Nick Cat opting to oh, call this could out be big. Jumps, but not oh, finding no. him. Alright, what's gonna happen? We got a first call out, three press a button. Looks like he is definitely holding shield and yeah. he is going to be safe. And this Leaf Blade is really getting a lot of usage right here against Paper Sack. We're seeing Nickel Cat doing a lot of that. Dashing back and oh, using no. Leaf Blade. Oh, oh no! This is gonna be huge! I don't think he's gonna kill quite yet, it wasn't a crit. It's going to be scary because he does have that rage does. which gives extra damage, but I'm not sure if it's oh enough. Oh my god! Okay. One more interaction for either player. Just Really? He's getting in there it is! That's going to be it. That grab is going to be the end of this set. Oh my god. Really? Very close set between these two players. Okay, jeez. Alright. Lots of stuff going on right there. Man, that was a, that was a really, really scary um, set right there for Paper Sack. Like, at, at the very end, he just got all that momentum right back into, into her favor. Uh, into his favor. 